Hi, in this lecture, we are going to talk about taboo search algorithm, a so-called meta-heuristic approach. So, what is taboo search? Okay, it is a meta-heuristic search method. What does it mean? That usually we have a well-defined algorithm. For example, how to sort a one-dimensional array of integers, or how to find the shortest path in a directed graph. We have well-defined algorithms, merge sort, quick sort, dash cross algorithm, and so on. Meta-heuristic search method is going to work fine in a general sense. For example, we have come to the conclusion that local search methods such as hill climbing or brute force search is not going to work fine, whether it's not going to find the optimal solution or brute force search is going to be very slow. Meta-heuristic methods relies on a trade-off that it's going to find the approximated solution but it's going to be very fast because brute force search is going to find the exact solution but it's going to be very slow. Okay, there are several meta-heuristic approaches out there such as genetic algorithms, particle swarm optimization, simulated annealing and table search for example. So local search methods have a tendency to become stuck in suboptimal regions, such as hill climbing algorithm. And what's the fundamental basis as far as hill climbing is concerned? That it's going to follow the gradient, it's going to accept better and better results. So maybe worsening moves can be accepted if no improving move is available. This statement is very very similar to simulated annealing. With simulated annealing, we accept bad moves as well. Why is it good? Because we are able to avoid local optimums, whether it is a minima or a maxima. Okay, and then we have the prohibitions, the so-called taboo. These prohibitions are introduced to discourage the search from coming back to previously visited solutions. So basically, these are the fundamental principles as far as taboo search is concerned. We are able to accept bad moves and we are going to maintain a so-called taboo list that's going to discourage the search from coming back to previously visited solutions. We have to use a data structure to store the prohibited points. This is called a taboo list. And we have to check according to this data structure whether a move is allowed or not. So what's very important that we are going to have taboo moves which means that we are not able to go that given position. These are prohibited moves, okay. So what's the problem with hill climbing? That it is a gradient exploitation method. For example, we start from this position and we keep going in the direction of the gradient. For example, we are looking for a global maximum. We are going to use hill climbing and follow the gradient until we hit the optimum. But this is the local optimum and not the global optimum. So what's the problem with hill climbing? That if we take another step, then this value is going to be smaller than the actual one. So basically we are going to go back to the local optimum. And we are not able to find the global optimum. So hill climbing is going to work fine in convex search spaces such as for example this. As you can see if we want to find the maximum of this function and we start from here we are going to go along in the direction of the gradient and we are able to find the global maximum. For non-convex search spaces such as this one Hill climbing algorithm is not going to work fine. We need heuristic or meta-heuristic approaches. Okay, we could use brute force search, but brute force search is going to be very slow. So as you can see, hill climbing is going to converge to this location, the local maxima, and it's not going to visit the global maxima because it is a gradient exploitation method. Okay. So we would like to find the global optimum instead of the local optimum. And what if we go one step further, the gradient leads us back to the local maximum. This is what we have been discussing that as you can see, if we consider the next move, the value of the function is going to be smaller than the previous one. So we are going to stock here. Okay, so maybe we should track moves in order to be able to prohibit some of them. We don't want to go back to the local optimum. 
and the local maxima will be taboo in the sense that we prohibit our algorithm to revisit that given position over and over again. Okay, so for example, in this case, we are able to go to the right and go to the left. As you can see, the gradient is pointing back to the local optima, but we are going to prohibit that given move. And this is how we are able to go along and visit the global maxima. Okay, so basically for taboo search, we are going to have a taboo tenure and we are going to have an aspiration criteria. Taboo tenure is when a move is made taboo, it is added to a so-called taboo list with a certain value, this is called the taboo tenure, and with each iteration the taboo tenure is decremented by 1. When the taboo tenure of a certain move is 0, the certain move can be accepted, otherwise we are not able to make that given move. So for example here, we are going to add that given move, this given location to the taboo list with a given taboo tenure. For example, taboo tenure 5 means that for 5 steps we are not able to revisit that given location. If the taboo tenure is equals to 10, it means that we are not able to visit this location for 10 iterations. Why is it good? Because in this position, we are able to go back to the previously visited location. But we have the taboo tenure, and because it is not zero, we are not able to visit that given position over and over again. So we have no choice but to go to the right, even if the value of the function is going to be smaller and smaller. So you may have the intuition that we are going to find verse and verse solutions. But basically, finally, we are able to end up with the global optimum. Okay, so this is why we have this taboo tenure, to be able to make sure that we are not going to revisit local optimums over and over again. So this is the taboo tenure. Okay, and we have the aspiration criteria that sometimes we allow taboo moves. Aspiration criteria allows a taboo move to be selected based on certain constraints. For example, the given move allows a new global best solution and all allowed moves are worse than the actual one. In this situation, the move is accepted Unlike the fact that given a move is taboo, in this case the taboo tenure is renewed of course, but what's very important that sometimes we are able to make disabled moves, the so-called taboo moves. If we know that the given a move allows a new global best solution and all allowed moves are worse than the actual one. So taboo search has two very very important features, taboo tenure and aspiration criteria. Taboo tenure is going to make sure that we are not going to revisit local optima over and over again. The aspiration criteria helps to make sure that we are not going to miss global maxima or global minima. It depends on whether we are looking for a maximum or a minimum of a given function. So basically these are the most important features for taboo search. In the next lecture we are going to consider an example. Thanks for watching.